Hello and welcome for another episode of Color, Fun and Painting with me, Michael. <laughs> we just recently started the 10th season of RuPaul's Drag Race, so what better occasion than making a rainbow pour? <laughs> All the colors that I've used you can see above, and for this pour I've used the DecoArt Americana paints. You can see them all here, it's from a cream towards a dark purple and I've already mixed them to the consistency that I like working with. Actually there is no glitter involved this time, although RuPaul's Drag Race really would have needed some glitter, you know? If you have not seen RuPaul, you really should do this. It is hilarious, we really love the show. And when it comes to the mixture, as usual, I've used two parts of my acrylic binder as a medium, then a bit of the paint for the color, of course, and then some water if needed to thin it down. And I needed some water for every paint. Of course, this time I also added some silicone for each paint, because this is not going to be a ring pour, believe it or not. I can do different things than ring pours, and as it was supposed to be a rainbow, I decided for a swipe. I have not done a swipe for so so long, and to be honest, I think they are a bit boring, but that is just my taste. I never really got an overwhelming cute result when it comes to a swipe. I never got any. I've seen some really beautiful swipes out there. I, I never got even close to that. And for me a swipe was always kind of technique to saving up a messed up painting. So my last step before really scraping it, I always try to swipe it to see if I can somewhat save it. So this is actually the position that a swipe has in my mind. But if you did some awesome swipes on your own and you really can tell me what you did to make it look that awesome as it might look like, make sure you show me, make sure you tag me and let me know what you did. I'm really curious about them. But back to this project, I just mixed my paint as I already told you and layered them carefully next to each other on my canvas. It is a 30 by 60 centimeter canvas, so a pretty longish one and a medium sized one. I went from light to dark and did not really pay attention to the rainbow colors at all. I just wanted it to be colorful. I know there is no green. Um, yeah, whatever. It's still colorful, right? <laughs> and when I have everything layered on my canvas, I wanted something to swipe it with. In the past, depending on the size of the canvases, I used a palette knife, I used a spatula, I used some red kitchen towel and I used Yupo paper to swipe it. There is so many different possibilities, options that you can pick from and basically it's depending from the size of the canvas. So if it's really a tiny one, so a 15 by 15 or 20 by 20 centimeter, you might be good with a palette knife, a larger one of course. But what I figured out in the past when I had to save so many of my paintings with this wipe, um, whenever I tried to use the palette knife, I really could not hold my hand still enough to have no interruptions and wobbly lines in there. And whenever I was shaking, it was visible in the end, which was something I most of times did not really like to have. It's up to you. But on the go, I somewhat came across the Yupo paper, which is just some kind of plastic paper, which you can reuse every time because it does not soak up any of the paint. You just can clean it afterwards and you can reuse it again. So this went pretty smooth because it's more or less a sheet of paper that you can put on there and just drag along and swipe with this one. It really went smooth and you had not so many of these shaky lines in between. But the Yupo paper itself is a bit pricey. So this is something I wanted to have a workaround for. And then I just accidentally came across these transparent office papers, which you for sure have seen as well. You can use them for overhead projections or for your offices, whatever. I bought them just on Amazon as so often. <laughs> and yeah, can you imagine there was a time before online, before Amazon, where I really had to get stuff in the city and look for it in the city? Oh, can't believe it. <laughs> I got mine from Amazon and they're just regular plastic papers. It was just the reason that they are much cheaper than the Yubo paper is and they are from plastic so they can be reused over and over again as well. And this is what I'm using here. I just put it on there and drag it over the entire painting. And then of course, as there was silicone involved, I had to use a torch and I torched it. 
until I had as many cells as I can get and as I wanted. Because as I have mixed silicone in each of these panes, I expected many, 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 many small cells. If I only would have mixed silicone in a couple of those, I would have gotten some larger cells, but less color definition and they wanted to be colorful and there are always so many aspects to keep in mind. <laughs> But whenever you just want to see cells happening, this is something to go for. It basically cannot go wrong getting cells. If you are in desperate need of having cells in your artwork, a swipe most of times actually always works to get cells. And this was basically it for this little project. Just to prove you and me that I can do more things than ring pours. But there is a but. I like them more. I need to confess. Don't get me wrong, I really like the result. It is pretty, it is a rainbow, it's colorful, and it colorwise perfectly matches my channel here. But, you know, when I compare this, although it's pretty, with one of my uh, ring pours that I just recently did, I just find them more interesting to look at. I don't know, what do you think? So if you did some awesome swipes, please make sure to tag me and show them, just to give me an impression what else can be done with them. Perhaps I should use more paint and tilt more to get more effects in there. I can't wait to see your results. But other than that, this was just meant to be a shorter and crisper and less teaching intense video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can give me a thumbs up if you did so. And if you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, I would really love to see that you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to not miss out any of my new coming videos. And of course, have a look at all my other videos. There are over 200 already, so there is plenty time to spend. <laughs> If you want to get in touch with me, of course, you can use my social media links. They are all down below in the video description. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.